Hey guys, what is up? Zach here, or Z Tutorials, and today I'm gonna give you an introduction to PHP. Just let you know what the whole programming is about, what the language can do, and how you can integrate it into your own websites and programs. Now, I'm not gonna be doing any real coding in this, but I will give you a few examples. So first off, what is PHP? So PHP is another uh, language just like HTML and CSS are a language in their own right. Now HTML and CSS is known as the basis of, of any programming languages. Basically that's what you learn first, it's kind of an introduction so you can go on and learn more difficult languages such as PHP then JavaScript and what PHP is it's, it, it just integrates stuff like MySQL, you can work in between two of them and I'll show you an example of that in a second and then it gives you a good gateway to learning JavaScript. But PHP is very powerful, I can't stress that enough. Now one of the easy examples that PHP can do is, is like, uh, you, you know, you can create online calculators and, and things like that. You can take in user input, uh, you know, so like say if someone entered a 5, you take in the keyboard input they put in, so you take in the 5. If they put in another 5, you take in that. If they put in a multiply sign, you take in that and you get 25 and you output that. But more importantly, what PHP can do is this kind of stuff. So we're on YouTube. Uh, is it YouTube or YouTube? I always say YouTube. But anyway, as you can see, I'm logged in as Z Tutorials, And if I click here, I have all these options to go to my channel, sign out and all that kind of stuff. Now, if I just came to YouTube without logging in, this is what I would see. I would see a big sign in, create an account button. I wouldn't see any of my subscriptions. And I'd see this mumbo jumbo. I don't have a drop down menu, if I click on sign in it gives me this this stuff here and then I can go back. So when you log in this is all PHP. Now what, is, what PHP is actually doing here is it's, it's integrating with a database. So MySQL database. In the MySQL there is a table inside the database, say it's called users. And every time someone registers it puts that user into the database and then you can sign in with your account. When you sign in with your account, PHP can work with MySQL to output things like this. So it's kind of protected content. You can't see my videos unless you're on my account. Well, you can, but you can't see it from, from my view here. You can't, you can't see my subscriptions without being on my account. Little things like that. Now if I go to an actual video page, I can leave comments. Everyone knows that. This again is MySQL integrated with PHP. So there is a table in a database it's called let's say comments every time someone puts in a comment that comment with their username and the date that it was put in is stored in a database now when I view this page all of those comments are just spat out just spat out on the page in a in order of most recent and then when I put a comment if I put in a comment here saying hi if I post that that hi will be put into the database and it will be spat out here. So that's another way that PHP works. So as you can see, it's very powerful. Again, on, on my own website here, you can see that I can make this into a database with PHP. So in my code, I would have uh, a table for all of the movies. I would put in the movies into the table, and then with PHP, I would output them all instead of hard coding it. So we pop into Notepad here. We can see that there is functions. So this is another cool thing that PHP can do. You can have a function and you can name it something. And right here I have the head. So this is what you need for every P for every HTML document. You need to have the doc type, the HTML tag, head tag, you know, your title, your style sheet linked, all that kind of stuff. But typing it out every time can be very tedious. So what I can do is I can make a little PHP function that I, I write it once, I write this function once. And then every web page and every page I create from there on, all I have to do is type in output head. So if I come into the actual web page, say this is index, I'd call on the file, require once, and don't worry about all these names. It doesn't matter, I'm just trying to give you an example. I call on the function, I put in my parameters, which is the title and the style sheet, and that's all I need. In When I load this in a browser, it will output doc type html you won't see output head you will see doc type html the style sheet things like that so it is very very powerful so that was just a quick overview of php and what it can actually do if you want to know how to do more 
uh, like say a contact form that is done using PHP well you can use JavaScript as well to integrate it you can validate it all that kind of jazz but the core of it is PHP so PHP is very powerful if you're taking anything away from this video it's that PHP works very well in websites and that is where I use it mostly so if you want to learn more just let me know in the comments and I can make a couple tutorials on it it's it's pretty it is kind of a tough language to get into I'm not gonna lie there's variables all that kind of stuff all these big names that you just don't want to know about it's kind of like going back to school but hey that's why we're all here so that's it guys as I said leave a comment below let me know what you think leave a like as it does really help me out and help the channel grow it gets the video to more people and all that kind of stuff so I really do appreciate that but thanks for watching and until the next video I will see you guys later